Now, see in this example, a solid sphere rolls down two different inclined planes of same height, but different angles of inclination. Will it reach the bottom with the same speed in each case? Will it take longer to roll down one plane than the other? If so, which one and why? Now, see here in this question, you have got here, suppose this is a height h and you have taken this is inclined plane, this angle is theta. So, if the sphere is rolled down from here, coming down like this, in that case, we apply conservation of energy, the total energy at this point and total energy at this point. We can write here mgh, that is total energy at the top is equal to when it rolling down. So, half mv square plus half i omega square. Now, we can write m g h is equal to half m v square plus half i we can write 2 upon 5 m r square, r square is the radius of the sphere and into here omega square. So, this 2 and this 2 will get cancelled, this m, this m and this m will get cancelled, we will be getting g h is equal to v square by 2 plus here 1 upon 5 r square into v square upon r square, this and this also will get cancelled. So, we will be getting g h is equal to v square by 2 plus v square by 5 that is your 7 v square upon 10. So, we will be getting v is equal to under root of 10 g h upon 7. Now, see in this case velocity at the bottom depends on height h and g, g remains constant. In the equation h is given to you here the same in both the cases, it means velocity does not depend on the angle of inclination. So, the velocity will remain same whether the angle of inclinations are different. So, both the body will be reaching the bottom with the same speed and also both the bodies will be taking the same time to reach the bottom.